So let's talk about carving license plate covers or at least custom engraving these uh, metal license plate covers that you can pick up at any auto parts store. You can take a bland cover like this, you could put a sticker on there, but you've got a CNC machine. So grab a diamond drag bit and you can take it from this to this without too much effort. Stick around through the video, I'll show you what went well, what I could have improved upon, and how well it worked overall, and what the finished product, wait, there's the finished product. So if that's all you're looking for, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, hit the like button. If you wanna see how I did it, come with me into the shop and we'll get carving. So here we are at the Maverick. I've got the license plate frame taped down. I just used blue tape because the bottom is not uh, solid, so there was very little to stick to the bottom. But because it's also solid in different heights, I had to put shims under it so that it was uh, would not flex under a little bit of pressure, <clears throat> just to keep that a little bit more level. So I've got this set, I've got XY set here, I've got the 120 degree diamond cutter in, and Got the program loaded, so let's get carving.
So here's the final product. Uh, turned out pretty well. The silver really pops. I am going to put a layer of poly over this just so it doesn't fill with grime and grit. A couple of things that I did notice and caused some problems is right here it's not supported and so as the bit pushed on it this flexed away and so I actually had to go over this three times and the second two times I was actually putting pressure on the back with a couple of shims where it's holding that up <clears throat> and it may just be that's my assumption it may be that they paint stuck just they had a lot better thicker paint or better paint adhesion at the top I don't know but it did seem to be more of a problem but in the end I was able to run it uh, the second two passes I did do it at 200 percent speed which didn't seem to cause a problem but let me pull this in and give you a close-up did have a little bit of tear out there at the bottom of the R and the U but uh, overall I'm really happy with how it turned out but I think next time I do it I'm going to try it on my laser so maybe we'll see how that works out in a, in a future video thanks for sticking around please hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video